Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're playing some more Van Helsing on PC using console controls. Let's hop right in and figure out, you know, what's, what's going on with the game. We're finding some key wars now. Cool. Let's just keep going dodge until we're 70 dodge and then I mean I might as well. Might as well. Yeah, I might as well. I mean it won't help much, but I might as well. What's in this chest? Eh, crap. And some money! Sweet. If we don't have those anyways, no we don't. Not enough. Died there. Nice. I almost died. I saw the screen turn red. That was unpleasant. Wow. That came out of nowhere. <coughs> Good lordy. Got some new stuff. Um, yes. Yes. Nope. Okay, cool.
Mm. Ooh. You know what? I might do that instead. <coughs> yeah, I want to do that instead, actually. Um, hmm. This is more protection, this is more damage. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Cool, okay. Oh, I need to be down here, huh? Okay. I'm gonna get down. No, right here. Okay. Okay. I need to sit up in my chair again because I'm sliding out of it. <clears throat> I don't have enough rage for that, unfortunately. Chimney Sweet Minion. Okay, well. Palace of Machines. Oh, we're on the final boss. Here nice. we are at last. Congratulations, Mr. Van Helsing. You've managed to play our little game right to the end. Do you think that this is a game? Of course it is. The oldest one in the book. The hero and the villain. But he is clearly insane. There can be only one. Please, make him stop before we drown in cliches. With pleasure. 
They didn't call me mad. Never. But I'll show them all. I'll show them. Ever danced with a giant machine in the pale moonlight? Yeah, he only targets me, by the way. Not her. Don't do this. Join me. And together we can rule Borgova. Yes, I would! Muscle booster, what does that do? Nothing good, okay then, cool. All of those dodges. Shoot, I can't. Okay, cool. I can shoot the doors too. Okay. I'm gonna take care of the doors before I. Only has no shield. Oh, now's our time. Dude, all of those dodges. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, all of that dodging. We got some booties. <laughs> We're putting that on. <laughs> Actually, is that a pair that has... No, it's not. Okay, cool. Whatever then. I think we are done here. Time to return to the lair. Yep, but I want to look around for more um, items and money. Because we finished the first game. Now we can move on to the second game of three. Nice. Yep, we're good here. We're moving on. Rumble. Oh, for the love of her. These mad scientists and their nasty surprises. Katarina, out. Fumigati's death must have triggered a self-destruction sequence. The building will collapse.
Now that's what I call an explosion. It blew us straight into the tunnels, Van Helsing. Van Helsing? No, don't you die on me. I'm too young to haunt the same place for eternity. That's touching, Katarina. Don't give up. You have just defeated your first villain. You have so many things ahead of you. I'm not dying. I'm just stuck. What is this? Who are you? Stay back! Move aside. I'm warning you. You're powerless for the moment. Please move aside. <laughs> well, that was fun, Katarina. What's going on? Who is this? Is it a man? A troublesome intruder. He just appeared out of nowhere and... And humbly gave my assistance to Van Helsing, the great liberator of Borgova. Do I know you? Hurry up. This structure may collapse at any moment. How rude. What kind of behavior <coughs> does that? That's the least of our concerns. He's right. The building is crumbling. We must leave. Find a way back. My backpack is full. To the lair. So now we're on the second game. And that was our first introduction to a new character. And if I'm correct that he won't come back as a main character until the third game. So what do we have on us? We're now level 30. So it boosted us to level 30, that's fine. We didn't get the skills for it. Oh, that sucks. Whatever, though. Maybe it didn't boost us. Okay, whatever then. I thought it, I thought it did, but I guess I'm wrong. We leveled up. Well, let's just get these two even numbers and then let's just do this. Because why not? Um, okay, yeah, so we have all those still. Let's go ahead and get this one and 10 more defense. And now we can choose our third and final ability and if you notice this one got changed and it is now invigorating hit that used to do what this one does hunter's rejuvenation used to give 1.5 percent max health i believe but We're going to take this one next. And we're going to immediately max it out. And I do mean immediately. First, I want to know who you are. And perhaps you could explain why you are so helpful. 
I always find that suspicious in a masked creature. The mask hides deformations and the scars, the reminders of years of captivity in a lab. You are a test subject? Fulmigadi's favorite. Once a powerful being, now only a husk of my former self. Until your heroic deeds brought chaos to the prison. And so I escaped. You're doing this out of gratitude? And revenge. Though the professor is dead, his heritage and his allies still remain. This tortured soul wants them to suffer. So you're proposing? I must take my leave. We'll talk more later. Ha! He did it again. And the way he talks? Annoying. I'm sure he'll return. Let's go. Oh, he'll return all right. You know what? Actually, I wonder if it's fixed in this game or not. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if it's fixed. I doubt it is, though. If these things are not fixed, I am going to get rid of them. say this place has a powerful device a marvel of weird science it binds this patch of the ink into a loop that won't let anyone escape you seem to be able to come and go as you please I have a particularly strong connection to the ink the one thing my captors weren't able to take away then get us out take us with you that's beyond this one's powers but a temporary portal could take you close to the device. Once you defeat its guardians, we can disable it. Why should I trust you? Trust is overrated. You can take that on trust. The portal will remain active until you leave this area. Uh, my backpack is full. Okay, so now we're here. Okay, cool. Disable the device and you can go. Be ready. 
Ready for what? A storm is coming, Van Helsing. You may find that your work is far from done. Then is it ever? Fulmigadi's army has withdrawn. Somebody is calling them back. They are still a chaotic mess, but they will regroup. Somebody wants to see you fall. Nothing new about that. An alliance is what you need. This tormented body is no longer able to fight. But my powers allow me to discover secrets. I can be your master spy, and you can let me have retribution. That if we're to be allies, at least tell me your name. A name? Yes. I used to have one. But that person was killed a long time ago. This wretched ruin of a man standing here is merely called Prisoner 7. Maybe I was he wrong on him. He is the most impolite, mysterious stranger ever. And that whole doom and gloom attitude, can you believe it? I don't know. He might be right. Something's up. I can feel it. Maybe I was wrong on that guy being later in the game. Meaning, you know, the third game. But it is what it is. I mean, again, I've not played this game in a while, so. <clears throat> it all seems so simple. Defeat the mad scientist and ride into the sunset. But sometimes victory leaves you buried under the ruins. I was lucky. Someone saved me. For a change, I'm not the only mysterious stranger in town. But weeks have passed, and the metropolis of weird science is still waiting for its own savior. Outlaws and escaped monsters roam the streets. The resistance is too weak, so someone else decided to take matters into his own hands. General Harker, the military genius of the city, came back from his exile. He gathered the rest of the disorganized army. His forces are a chaotic mess of weird machines. So far. But they're slowly clearing out the streets. He might not have seen eye to eye with Fulmigati, but he regards me and the Resistance as a threat to the city. A coalition of monsters and troublemakers. As a hunter, I won't tolerate others hunting me. I'm ready to fight. I have an underground lair, new soldiers, and my new mysterious ally. I'm quite used to unlikely companions, but Prisoner 7 is the most unusual so far. A former test subject of the mad scientists, master of the ink. He's certainly helpful, but I don't know what to make of him. Now he can prove his worth. Harker's troops are on the move. They want to control the foundries, so he can build more war machines. We will stop them in the sizzling, clanking heart of Borgova. Let the battle begin. <laughs> I like how they had, um, their own version of Magic the Gathering cards. It was nice. I liked it. Soldiers have already got through your defenses. And why should we trust you, you enigmatic, faceless man? Your humble ally is here to help you, as he promised. You must clear this whole area before they run you down. How annoying is that? All right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so they still despawn. Okay. That's unfortunate. I don't think they should, but they do. So I will be getting rid of them. As I can get back to the secret layer, I will get rid of that ability because it's pointless. They keep going away, and they shouldn't. Sir, we are under heavy attack. Three more to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good day to fight, Peter. Speak with the commander, okay. I'm just a simple ghost, Van Helsing. But you might want to use your occult abilities to jump back to the commander. That is better. That is also better. Oh, the Dodge value. Can I afford it though? I can't afford it. I might take that. Mana regeneration, item defense, okay. Uh, essence capacity by 20. Um. She loses health. She doesn't do poison damage, but it's whatever. I think I'll hold off on that for now. <clears throat> yeah, I'll buy... Oh, my inventory is full. Duh. Um... So now we go back to buy, buy this, don't buy anything there, buy this one, buy this one.
And we are set. Okay. Pump action. Timing Hunter, as always, I have a message for you. Count Vlado sends his regards, but he had to leave in a hurry to destroy the Force Walls. You are in charge. Last time I checked, vampires couldn't stand daylight. Oh, he is a modern vampire, defying superstition and spontaneous combustion at the same time. I wouldn't worry for him. I haven't seen daylight for a while in this smoke. Anyway... General Harker is busy preparing his next attack. Are you ready to employ your tactical genius? I'm a hunter, not a commander. You deal with the soldiers. I go to the front line and wait for the attack. This is fun as heck. It's you, Hunter. Your humble messenger was ripping through the ink, delivering dispatches, witnessing your captain oh so in need of your assistance. Visit them if you can. We managed to hold our ground, but only just. Harker is now familiar with our positions. My scouts tell me that the General is preparing a full-scale artillery attack. I recommend that we send our men back to the second line of defense. From now on, you are in charge here. Great. I'll give the orders for the second line. Do you need anything else? Call back the soldiers from the first line. I go to the front line and wait there before they attack.
Oh, look at all these guys. Nice. Aw. Your lowly messenger found a wounded resistance soldier beyond the perimeter. He tried to warn us that the undead, called Vlados, was under attack and needs your help. Did he tell where they are? With his last breath, he did. There is an industrial platform far beyond our lines, where the cargo elevators go down to the rookery. Vlados is trapped there. Rescue Valados. Oh, damn, I'm getting hit hard. Right. Those guys are freaking tanks, man. Good lord. Said they come here, right? Are we doomed yet? This is it, all right. I don't know if it ever stops, though. And I can't get on the elevators. Okay, it does stop. Cool. You certainly live up to our expectations, sir. You saved us in the last minute. What happened to you, Captain? And where is Count Vlados? Count Vlados is gone, sir. What do you mean, gone? Did he crumble to dust, or did he just slip away to throw a doomsday party again? You really shouldn't question his dedication to the cause, milady. He led his unit to one of the electricity works to disable the four domes from there. Then suddenly Harker's specialist swarmed the area. We had no choice but to retreat. I'll take it from here, Captain. Go back to the front line. You are needed, Van Helsing. The commander wants to talk to you. You must also save a weapon shipment and rescue someone important. Van Helsing, you give a new meaning to the term one-man army. At least it's a well-tested and proven method. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Uh, talk to the commander. <clears throat> okay, talk to the commander. Van Helsing, we have an urgent order from the War Council. You must find and save Private Brian at all costs. Take him back to the lair. We have a War Council now? And who is this soldier? Private Brian. I heard that part, but who is he? Somebody important? Not that I know of. A simple soldier. I'm all about helping people. But Count Vlados is gone. Our defenses are crumbling. And you still want me to find a lonely soldier? Yes, I do. I have my orders. And I'm willing to sacrifice hundreds if that's what it takes to save Private Brian. Easy, Commander. I understand. If this is an order, we obey. Where should we go to look for him? I sent his squadron to track eight. We are doomed! <laughs> Did you save Private Brian? Not yet, but we're still looking for him. Okay. I mean, we're here, why not? Actually, no, there's one up here. Oh, they have uh, a gun gun. Nice. Sir, it's good to have you here. Thank you, Captain. I'm looking for a certain Private Brian. And he should have a lightning shaped scar on his forehead. <laughs> Do you know where we can find this man? I sent him with a squadron to destroy a freight car filled with phlogiston gas. It's a dangerous mission. A lightning shaped scar on his forehead. Nice one, Devs. Oh my god. Oh man. Finally, where have you been? This poor son is going to die. We must take him to safety now. Oh, my apologies. I didn't know that we don't have time to play with those people who are shooting at us. Hmm, I do have to follow him. Okay, well that's fine, I guess. Done. All right, that was easy to do. All right, now we go back. Freedom for Borgovia. I'm gonna try to finish these quests, and then I'll put a cut in the video. Locate the weapon shipment and protect it. Okay. God dang it, come on now. Stop itching. Good lord. Alright. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for you. Another! Great. You're finally here. I was close to leaving on my own. Everyone is a one-man army now. It's your fault, Hunter. Alright, we gotta escort this, I think, all the way back as well. No, I will escort it. 
Good thing I did, honestly, yeah. Fear not, lads. Van Helsing is here. <sighs> A lousy crossbow. Yay! My cat's awake now. He's on a chair. <laughs> more money and more XP. Totally worth it. Dang it. Sit straight in my face, please. Good lord. I swear. Just, you know. Sit right on my face for fudge six. No, we have skill points. Um, I'm gonna save them up for now, actually. Because I need some more survivability and those drones are not working, unfortunately. They're nice, but the fact that I have to constantly recast them when I move to a new map is... It's just stupid. I shouldn't have Finally, to recast the them. Army is here. <clears throat> because it strictly says in their description that they last indefinitely. So because of that little information, they should never despawn. Ever. But they do. They're nice though, but... I would rather go for, um... Oh lord. I would rather go for more survivability. Oh, what a joy! A rescue squad! My comrades are all dead and I'm stuck here! Don't worry, lad. You're safe now. Tell me, I must know. Who are you? Do you have a unique ring? A glittering sword, a red cape. What? I'm I'm a nobody, my lady. Please don't hurt me. I used to be a cook. That's all. The War Council loves my chocolate cakes, but that's hardly a specialty. Really? We should change sides, Van Helsing. I insist. We will escort you to safety, soldier. You won't last alone out here. Oh lord, okay, well, damn boy, he took some hits. Ah! Uh, whatever, it is what it is, I don't care. It's hard enough to do as it is, who cares? Um. You save Private Brian. Yes, we did. And I think I'm gonna have some words with the War Council. I wouldn't know anything about that. I suggest focusing on the defenses until we get Vlados back. Vlados is gone, and our defenses are crumbling. Our job is done here. In this case, we must return to the lair. You're right, Commander. But there are still civilians out there. Return to the lair and make sure it's ready to accommodate the refugees. I'll join the others, 
and wait for the next attack. Reputation leveled up. Oh my god, I want that. And I might take it. Um, mm, what do I want? I could do marksman, but I have to be far away from the enemy for it to be beneficial. And I never do that. take that one right there because none of them seem worth it to me what's up kitty um yeah resistance to all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then let's raise her. Yeah, let's just do this. And then we have some skill points. Correct? Yes, we do. Ooh, okay. One, two, three. F yep, okay. That's done. Character sheets. Um. I think we're good on mana. Let's raise our damage. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Cover the retreat, huh? find that big thing and try to kill it if I can. But I don't know where it's at. Dude, look at all the dodging. Oh my goodness gracious. Is that right there? Maybe it is. No, it's not. I don't know where it is on the map. Wait, maybe in a center. And it may not be on the map at all.
Oh wow. And the game crashed. Okay, well, I want to put a cut there. See you guys later. Have a good night or a good day or whatever.